Just while they're coming up on the stage here, this is actually a, a very big moment for me. I mean, when you have taken only four test wickets in your life, and two of them are on this stage, Actually, to be fair, had DRS been around in 1984 with, I think he might have had a successful review, do you reckon? What about, um, the, and especially with the method that you have seen in the DRS system, I think I would have started to dance. Uh, well, I think, I think it might just have been a bit high. Remember, Yes, I would have gone, I certainly would have gone upstairs. Go down a bit, leg missing leg. It's lovely to see you. It's lovely to see you. Arjuna Ranatuga, the other one, exposed here tonight. Arjuna, lovely to see you as well. Thanks for coming and making me feel better. Brilliant. But what I will say is that I don't think I've ever come across anybody more fiercely proud to play test cricket than you. Perhaps they feel it inside, everybody. But hey, you showed it outside. I've never seen anything like it. Passion. I'll tell you something, Jonathan. The same if you've got it, you shot it. <laughs> Are you still shutting it? Um, I don't have it. <laughs> What's the one I've heard of it? I've lost it. Uh, I guess when you get in the twilight zone, you do lose something. Uh, you're not in the twilight zone, you look, you, look, you look great. Those shots on there, how premeditated were some of them? Uh, are you thinking, where, where is your mind going? You're not seeing poor old Bob Willis coming in and charging in at Old Trafford at that time. Where, where are you, where is your mind going? Uh, I will tell you um, the simplest things about um, my style of cricket anyway. Um, every now and then, when I first came here to England in 1973, I went, I said to I went to Arsenal Cricket School. There are times you can complicate the game big time. And um, I came here with a simple attitude that uh, I'm going to defend the perfect deliveries, which I think you must have due respect at times, especially if you have good fast bowlers and any bowler who, uh, who are doing the Australian in their stuff. And I'll say to myself, at the end of the day, if it's there to be hit, I'm going to hit it. <laughs> See, it's simple. See ball, hit ball. <laughs> And Jeremy, I mean, to play, I mean, you still see it in his eyes, to play against these fellows, as, as you have to do, to go turn over there, that's my word. Sabina Park. <laughs> I feel a nasty man coming on there. The West Indies batted first and declare six or a thousand. <laughs> Our turn to bat, it rains. Thank heavens. <laughs> There's about three hours to go in the day. It rains for two hours. We've got an hour to play. We are celebrating silently in our dressing room. We don't think that play will occur for the rest of the day. It's rained so hard, folks. Puddles, it's a, it's a very undulating ground, Spinal Park. Puddles have become ponds, have become lakes. Twenty lakes around Spinal Park. We think they can't play. The rain stops. Out come the, uh, the, the groundsmen with a sort of a nasty looking mixture of bitumen and, uh, and obviously methylated spirits. On it goes on the top. Whoosh! Twenty fires around Sabine Park. It evaporates immediately. Suddenly we've got 45 minutes to play. I go in at three for seven. I walk out. There's a smell of smoke. There's a landscape of death in the air. John Wright, who's betting you know, they're, they're playing his best cricket at the non-strikers here. <laughs> Comes over to me and says, Malcolm Marshall has been taking it away from me. Last over he brought some back. <laughs> and he said, you know, Michael Holding and you're in his bowling like wind. <laughs> I said, thanks 
shape I ever need taken down yet. <laughs> well, we bet for 45 minutes. We look more like rugby players than cricket players, with green all over us to dive out of the way. Two overs to go, I miss one from Joel Garner, break the arm. Through the, through the arm guard. Can't pick the bat up, walk off. Hospital. First one closed. No orthopedic available. <laughs> Second one. Open. Two things I remember. A little sign on the car park as you drove in. Guard dogs operating. <laughs> A little boy, 11, 12, comes up with an autograph book and says, Hey, Kune, you son. I said, Yeah, put it on the broken arm, you son. <laughs> and I'm looking at it and I'm turning in the pages. Mike Getty. Good one, son. Yeah, Alan Border, good. Imran Khan. You've got some good signatures here, son. You must love your cream, yes? You get down to Savannah Park very often, do you? No, sir. They all come here sometime. Another slide down. Um, correction. Yes. And none of the smell of smoke. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have nothing responsible with We have some casual <laughs> feeling on the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're talking about captaincy, where we know the lovely Jeremy, all that. Gat, I know someone has to do. Five minutes, 14, last over. It's a toss of spin of the ball. Hey, it's captain's easy, isn't it? It is if you've got someone like Shane Warne. I suppose, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things that the captain's manual came out, wasn't it? Mm. Just for tea time. Come out of all, Shane. You still have nightmares about it. Sorry? You still have nightmares about it? No, nightmares, no. No, not at all. No, it's just, uh, have you seen it yet? I mean, you know, oh, you've watched it. <laughs> you've watched it a few times. <laughs> seen it a few times, and I have to say, it's very sad, I keep missing it. Very very I mean, it's very, very upsetting. You would have thought one out of a thousand times you might hit one of them, might you? Really? What did you think Graham Gooch say to be walked off? Well, it wasn't Gooch, it was when, when, when AB came up. He said, See that little fat plat down the other end, he said. And I thought, Christ, that's to cover two fat plats that are standing on the other end, and little Captain and Warney. I mean, I thought it was a bit harsh, but. Um, no, it was, it was sad. Because Warnie had been out the line before as well. He'd had a couple of years with, uh, with his teammate, Merv Hughes. So he was a bit upset when they had to come on and ball, but um, It was up level, wasn't it? I think honest. Could you yeah, play it was. I mean, you know, and Gucci, because I was worried about him while we were around the legs. And, you know, Gucci said, well, he couldn't have, couldn't have done it with the arse your size. So, <laughs> I thought that was very harsh on my captain. And then when we were walking off, he accused me of losing my concentration because I was thinking about the donuts and the, the sandwiches and the... So I had to have a look and it wasn't a bad walk, funnily enough. And I suppose the only consoling thing about it, Angus, was that, um, you know, you, you sort of think, well, he could have been a beach bump and actually only got 17 test wickets as opposed to 727. And probably the best leg spinner of all time. So, yeah. so take comfort in that. Thank you. Sorry, Richie. Now, see, you two, I think, have got some of the toughest jobs. We're captain of Sri Lanka, captain of India. You know, we've had a bit of fun down here, but the pressure, the expectation for you two, Arjun, the captain of Sri Lanka. And it was not a difficult, difficult part as far as I'm concerned, because when I took over, no one expected us to do well in uh, this cricket or one cricket. But, uh, I personally felt winning the World Cup was one of the best things happened to the country and the worst thing happened to the country as well. 
because a lot of unwanted guys started involving figure. But uh, generally I felt you really worked hard on different theories, but we needed to create something our own. That's what we did. Uh, as, as a team, we got two guys, Sanat and Kalu, to start hitting the ball from the first over. And it worked. And um, we had a really good feeling side. Murli was young as a bowler, Vash was young as a bowler, but uh, generally we felt all 13 other cricketers were so committed for what they were doing. And suddenly we realized that uh, when we meet India in uh, Delhi in the first round, that uh, we could win. What really happened to Sri Lanka cricket was from 82. We never believed ourselves thinking that we could win uh, with the other strong teams. And that's something we wanted to put into our young ones' heads. That's what uh, I was trying to do. And I, I, I still feel that I was quite successful in that. Yes. Sort of. Give us an idea of what it's like actually to be captain. I mean, a, a billion people. You must feel that, that weight on your shoulders, don't you? Yeah, you have the weight on your shoulders, but uh, I think it's it's a lot more spoken than actually what it is in India because you get a lot of good things with it. You know, you get the accolades when you play well. The people who are appreciating you. It's it's a it's a massive sport in our country, so it's not just about pressure. I think what comes with it also is something to reflect. Yeah, I, can you enjoy it? Can you enjoy being captain in India? Yeah, you can. You can. And I'm sure it's the same with uh, every other part of the world when you lose. People ask you questions, selectors ask you questions. Uh, it's the same thing in India, but when you win, uh, you know, it's, it's about balancing both. And when you win, uh, you know, the, the things you get is unbelievable. Yeah. I've got to ask you one question. I didn't prepare at all for this. Sachin Tendulkar? I'm going to asking about when he's going to, going to, going to finish. I mean, the greatest player of his generation. Is he still, still carrying on? Uh, I think he wants to play. And, uh, and I think a lot of people ask me the question, what else has he got to achieve? I think for him, playing the sport is, is, is ultimate. And the achievements have come with it. Uh, when I see him now, uh, I still see so much of eagerness to play the game and that's the reason he still keeps playing. But I don't see him too far away. And I hope it's not too far away because whether he plays two more or five more or less, it's still with Sanjit Tendulkar. We keep an eye on that. So, Gary Gooley, our junior runner took it. Mike Captain, Vivian Richards, Jeremy Coley, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Fantastic.